guys. Well, it's Tuesday. I just drove up from Norman at Tulsa with Christine. I woke her up really early. She wasn't too thrilled about that. Um, we went to IHOP when we got up here. I just dropped her off with her mother. And now I'm heading to the shop. We're going to go ahead and pull the motor out of the parts mini. Um, and then it'll be a really interesting process. I mean, we don't care for anything around the motor. We're more likely going to cut it because it's all rusted together. We just need the motor. The motor's got good compression. We just need to replace some gaskets on that once we get it out. And then we're probably going to start pulling his motor out of his Mini Cooper. Um, it should be a really good day. We're possibly going to detail a few cars. I'll try to do some edits with that since I'm really not that good of an editor. This is all new to me and I'm like learning as I go. Um, well, let's start our day. By the way, I just figured found something that just popped up. I am driving the Honda. I've only had this for about four months, which is actually long for me for a day. I don't keep cars very long at all, which really sucks. But it's, it's good and horrible. I mean, not a smart investment. Don't do it. Um, but yes, this car I've had for a little while. Put about 10,000 miles on already. Driving from Norman to Tulsa at work. It's really, this is a go-getter. I should just put a big vinyl wrap on it that says, go-getter. Go get the parts. Get me in places. It's to put miles on it. That's why I bought it. I drive a lot. Um, but no, I just had the engine light come on right there so that kind of interests me i need to see what that could possibly be maybe read the code here a little bit i bet it's just an o2 sensor everything's running fine there's not a single hiccup i think it's just more likely an o2 sensor should not be in a hard fix at all but Yes. Go that one, because that one, this gate's open. We made it. We made it here. All right, let's go say hi. Here's the shot. Dude, so what are we doing? What are we doing today? Yeah, pulling my order. Yeah, and what's the issue right now? I'm a dumbass, I don't know what the fuck to do. So when we work on the inline six, the M54s, there's a spot where we can put our factory tow hook, and we can cherry pick the motor out super duper easy with the mini cooper there's not a spot to put the cherry picker and what we're thinking about doing is dropping it from the subframe down but even then we don't know what we're going to do to pull pull it and move it around making progress we got the subframe mounts underneath we got this mount removed completely we got a cherry pickered on it we're allowed to lift it up we're connected somewhere we're trying to figure it out it's kind of jiggly and then we're on dirt and these wheels are not made for dirt as you can see there so we're gonna use a, a vehicle probably not the safest way to do it but we're gonna get her done we got the supercharger out there's the wiring harness that's on the motor we have a, a bucket of basically scraps up over there we brought it back over here we're about to power wash it and then we're gonna grind it off and try to clean it up as much as possible before the teardown and while the teardown we'll go ahead and keep cleaning it let's get the wash clip going Now that we got the engine all cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and jack up the Mini Cooper. We got all these jack stands, we're gonna kinda jack up, kinda high but not too high. Uh, and then when we do that, we're gonna take off all the wheels, prep the front, I'm also gonna take off the back bumper. We're gonna start kinda working on the diffuser. We've already done a lot of hand dirty work today and we're kinda just wanting to relax. Here we are. We got. We're trying. We need to get a little bit more organized, but we got the wiring harnesses there, the supercharger, the engine, the ripsticks, of course. We did get jacked up, and now we're just gonna take off the rear bumper. I went ahead and showered real quick. We're gonna probably go get a bite to eat before we dig into that. And who knows? Who knows how deep we'll get into the vehicle today? We ordered some pizza, and now we're going on a quick trip. Look at your neck, dude. Bad, isn't it?
So we got the bumper off. All it was were two bolts and the two bolts in the center. We actually already bit the heat shield up. This exhaust is gonna go, it's temporary. It does have some nice tips on it though. Um, so now we're about to draw out where we're gonna cut the bumper to prep the rear diffuser. Quick update, we're getting the rear diffuser. We decided that, that we weren't gonna, we're gonna leave this open, but we decided to put a down, downhill there and go back kind of like a skid plate. And then you got these two fins that will be here, both sides, and it goes in a little bit. We're gonna sand the crap out of this. This was for support, but we did it. All this is trial and error at the moment. We had fins on here, but it was just too much. We decided to simplify a little bit. As you can see, it actually goes back too. We're gonna have to make all the mounts for it. It looks really good compared to the factory bumper and no light anymore. But all right. I proved this message. Well, fish for the day. I'm going back to pick up Christina at her mom's house and we're gonna head back up to Norman. It's a two hour drive. We both got things to do tomorrow. Let's stay busy. But till the next time guys, goodbye.